Welcome back to the Appalachian Farmstead. Thanks for coming back. Today, this is a project. This is our old Kubota 900 XT. Uh, so wheel bearings are out of it. Wheel bearing is out of it. And this poor thing's been through the ringer. So just to give you a quick shot of, or a quick story of what happened was so this was years ago. Years ago, it was parked right here in front of the garage doors. And I was inside doing some welding. Never even like noticed anything. Come out and it's gone. So what it did was, <laughs> so that <clears throat> parking brake right there, terrible design. Like every time you stop, you pull that parking brake on, it just jabs in the leg so I don't know probably had pulled up to this garage door 150 times just left it in gear sitting here but that day it I'm swinging around here like an idiot uh, it coasted backwards and this wasn't here at the time so it was kind of a little more wasn't a bank or anything it was just a gentle slope Anyways, it, it coasted back out into that grass, made a turn, and then it went. This is all going backwards. And it went clean down the turn. And if you look right, right, there's, there's a tree with a woodpecker hole. Second, the third tree down there is a big scar on it. That's where it hit. It hit going backwards at... I don't know, 8,000 miles an hour. And it, it bent the frame, it bent all this in. The bed was all bent in. You can see it's still wrinkly. Bent the frame, but what the worst thing happened was it cocked the battery sideways and the battery holder was metal shorted out the battery and caught on fire so all this was on fire all this plastic it was melted got the seat got everything so uh got down there put it out um so anyways that's how i ended up with that became a full value for it so we just added a couple thousand dollars at the time and got that then I bought this thing back from the insurance company for 400 bucks. So, uh, my uncle and myself, we cut the frame apart, straightened it all out. Everything's straight. And it's running. But the wheel bearing's out of it now. And the only other thing that's still screwed up from the fire is the, uh, it broke the radiator. So... That, it still leaks, but I'm either going to, my uncle said he thinks he can plastic weld it, but I also, now, they make a, there's an aftermarket radiator available for it, because I, when I called about the, the radiator from Kubota, they wanted $500 for it. So, I can get one now, shipped from England, for a hundred and, 130 <laughs> so if I can't get this plastic welded I'm just gonna spend the money and get a new radiator for 130 bucks so and that's what I did with this wheel bearing kit the wheel bearings are coming today for this I stopped over Kubota they wanted $70 for the two bearings and two seals and uh, I paid even with shipping I only paid 40 from eBay so I'm going to attempt to video this, but we got to take, this whole thing's got to come off to get, and then you pull the axles, pull the outer axles, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So let me get set up here. Alright, so, I got, so he has keeper nuts on the top, they're 14s, and then you got a uh, flange nut that holds the, uh, axle housing on to the spring so they're 15s 
So I got them off, and I just have this hanging. So I'm going to go do the other side. And uh, I think the worst part of it is right, going to be right here, this boot. you got to get this boot off. Can you see that right there, that boot right there? That's got to come off because it's got to, there's a, uh, so this axle splines into this axle. So then, when you pull all this out, it all comes out. This axle stays in the axle housing, and the stub axles stay on the on the in the transmission. All right. So let me go over and get the other side ready to fall, and we'll go from there. Completely wild, different machine. frame rails totally different but still okay Hoping that like those things just don't drop down in there. I guess they can't. Hmm. This has got a retainer ring on it. Like that. It does. That's probably gonna have to be cut off. Hmm. get that without destroying something hmm all right I think I have to go get something to cut this band off okay well found the easiest thing to do I can't really get to that bottom uh, boot clamp so Go over to the top one. I'll have to get like a hose clamp or something to hold it back on. The other side's completely loose. So Okay, so do that. Just use a screwdriver. Kind of. Break this free. There we go. Okay. Well, <clears throat> here goes nothing. Nothing else. I'll have it on video for posterity's sake. I don't know what's going to happen. I undo all these. Should be interesting.
Jesus. That's not good. Okay, that's awesome. I was hoping that wouldn't fall out. Alright, so it's the next day. Um, this turned out to be a little bit more difficult than uh, I thought it was going to be. The uh, both ra both races were still in there and had to be actually torched out, which kind of I don't know. I don't have any oxygen or acetylene, so I had to get that taken. I took it someplace that took it to my uncle's house where. He, we burn it out. Uh, then we had to actually hone out the inside and put all the new bearings and everything in. So it's all back together. Now I just got to uh, try to get this thing up in there. So, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know what's going to happen here, but we're going to give it a shot. So, I'll be all right. So I did not videotape that it's been probably two hours trying to get these uh, drive shafts lined up so they're clocked I guess is the word I'm looking for so that they can uh, they only go in one way and by the time you try to get it where it's in in the right position and you're wiggling the whole array this whole axle assembly and yeah it sucks so and then like an idiot i had the emergency brake on so i couldn't turn that inside shaft and i figured that out on the other one and that other one went in in like minutes so but anyways so we're going to put this all back together and see what happens but it's definitely uh it's not it's not a, a super hard job it's just you know lining things up and you you jack this one in and then you have to like not do anything to knock this one back out while you're putting the other one in and it's just a pain in the ass so all right well let me get this thing buttoned up because i'm i gotta fix the trailer we're going to get a new new uh New purchase for the farm Saturday so I need the trailer I got to take the sideboards off and then for some reason well I know what the reason is the goats got underneath it and tore the damn ground wires off so I got to get all the ground wires figured out so I have trailer lights I'll be back here in a minute all right well tires are on I need a new tire number one it's worn out number two got a big jack gash in the side but I put uh, some tire jacks, you can see it dripping all over the place. Seems to be holding for now. I would have uh, just got a new tire, but the, uh, the thing we're getting for the farm is taking the money for that tire, so it'll have to last a little bit longer. And this one here is a new, way newer tire, completely different, and I put some in it just for the heck of it. So we're going to take this thing for a ride and see how it goes. <coughs> and no, we're not because the battery's dead. Oh, great. One more thing. I'll be back. Hey, right, well, we're rolling. Check out the chickens and their kids. <laughs> hey, just take them anywhere you want. Don't mind me. Tire seems pretty good. Well, it's going. Wow. Now I just 
just got to get the radiator fixed and we'll be good. Hey, piggies. What's up, goats? Nothing seems to be uh, creaking and banging. That's awesome. Temperature gauge is fine, I know. That's not, that's water out of the bed. Hey, sticky chickens! Alright, well that's a success. Catch you on the next one.